right, guys, this is the PSA returns uh, part two of this submission. Um, we already went through this stack, which is pretty insane. I got my, you know, video up here kind of showing what I sent, making sure everything's here. Um, so, yeah, I mean, OK, grades. Um, we're going to see this is, a, you know, Phillips stack. A lot of these are not going to be high grades because they're more sentimental stuff. These are like his childhood cards. So really cool stuff in this pile um, might not be super flashy but the stories behind some of these cards are really great so let's jump on in all right guys so you saw the stacks we're going to start with this first one here i'm um, going to take some time to go through these so just enjoy the ride like i said a lot of these cards are not going to be super pristine condition when we found these which was you know right before october 2020 um, he had these in the plastic sleeves like we did way back in the day. So, of course, at minimum, these have a lot of um, hollow scratches on there. But like I said, they are all from his childhood collection. Now, this Ninetales, I remember when we sent it off, had some like very, very light hollow bleeding. Um, I don't know if you can see it, maybe just see my face there, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's very hard to see. I mean, I really even want to consider this like a, a hollow bleed. It was so faint, but, uh, very cool. So some of the cards that were, you know, in better condition from his binder are going to pull out some sevens and eights. This Articuno, I mean, it was really nice. It had some hollow scratching, but, uh, Overall, really solid card. Looks like there's a nick on the back. So just a couple things really add up. But uh, yeah, Hang on. I want to make sure I got them all stacked up right because these towers are going to get tall. <laughs> Here's a Jungle Vaporeon Hollow. Excellent. Five. We have a Scyther. Now, I thought this had a chance at a nine. This was one of the better ones. So we were pretty correct in that. But I mean, look at this. This from what I remember, didn't have any hollow scratching. The front looks really clean. And the back, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, uh, I I don't know. This, this almost deserves a 9 at first glance. And I remember thinking that when we first looked at it. But uh, very, very clean Scyther card. Um, unfortunately, got the 8. Here we have Kangaskhan. Excellent 5. You know, must have a lot of surface scratching and... Pretty good looking hollow there, but that's it's really easy to see the scratches on that. Here we have a very good, excellent four, Dark Machamp. Just really hard to grade. Tons of surface scratching there. And if you see down here at the bottom, there's even a little, you know, damage down there. So, you know, you can't expect much from that. But like I said, these are real sentimental to him. Here we have a random Graveler. I think he said like he really liked Graveler and how it looked. He had a first edition laying around that was decent shape. So he went ahead and sent it off. Here we have a Dragonite Fossil Hollow. Love this card. Probably the biggest card to pull from Fossil in excellent mint six condition. Here we have a Ditto Hollow from Fossil first edition. Got a seven. A Japanese Erica's Vileplume Hollow. I think he just sent this in because it was really good condition. And, uh, you know, we were right. Got a nine. So pretty solid there. Also, you know, notice the cert numbers on these things. These cards have been graded for a long time. We are almost to the seven um, on the cert numbers. And uh, so that's interesting to see. I guess I should mention that this is a Gem Mint 10. I was just kind of casually looking at it. I was looking at the certain number, not enjoying the card. Moving on, we have a Giovanni's Nidoking. Nice Mint 9. We have a Giovanni's Gyarados Hollow. Near Mint Mint 8. These Japanese cards are a little easier to grade. Um, some reason we got a 6 on this Dragonite. I'm not going to be looking into these cards too much, but uh, yeah, we're going to be going through them here. We've got a Mint 9 Snorlax, very clean looking card from Jungle. Next up we have a Skarmory, very good EX4. I don't remember why we sent this one in. I thought we thought, you know, this looked pretty nice, but... 
now I'm seeing down here, there is a little dent. So really unfortunate, otherwise a very clean card. Can't remember if we saw that or not. Here we have a near mint, mint eight Pichu card. Very nice. A EX mint six Azumarill. Then we have a first edition Dark Raichu Secret Rare, the first ever Secret Rare. I remember this one did have some pretty significant damage. So yeah, you can see a crease right there. There you go. Um, but it was his you know, childhood collection. He didn't have many first edition cards. And that being the first Secret Rare, he said, you know, why not? We did get a good deal. You know, this is back 2020 hype when you could still sub for pretty cheap. But, uh, of course, that is not the case now if you're wanting to get the cards back anytime soon. Um, all right. That pretty much does it for the first stack. Here we have the middle stack. Moving right along, I'll kind of go through these pretty quick. We got Machamp, first edition, EX5. A Gyarados Hollow. I remember these, these being, uh, ooh, especially this next card. This is like his most sentimental card of his entire collection. It is no other than a PSA 2, <laughs> but it is a base set Charizard. And uh, yeah, definitely has seen better days. This is one of the most sentimental cards in his entire collection, if not the most. Um, he just wanted to grade this to protect it, to hold on to. You're not going to, you know, get anything special for a two on the market. But uh, I don't think he's intending to sell that anytime soon. We have a very good EX4 Chansey. Moving on to Blastoise. Very good EX4. And then I think that's pretty much most of the sentimental cards. Now we're moving into more modern. We have Mint 9 Venusaur EX. All right, then we have a Mint 9 Misty's Determination Full Art. Um, pretty cool full art card here. There was a little sharp corner there. I don't know if they ding for those, but this one's got a little whitening. But uh, it's just how some cards are cut sometimes. They're a little sharper than others. Pretty cool trainer card. And then we have the Brock's Grit, another full art trainer from XY. It's a Mint 9 as well. Next up, we got a Gym Mint 10 Dragonite EX from XY Evolutions. Very cool full art. And not only that, but we have a second one here, and it is actually a 7. So, not exactly sure what this one had. I know one of them was definitely better than the others. Um, I don't know, maybe the corners? They, they look a little like a weird snip or something like that. But uh, yeah, we got one in a tin, so that's pretty cool there. Then we have a Pidgeot EX. Um, EX Mint 6, we must have missed something on this one. Um, not exactly sure. It's kind of hard to grade these cards with all the texture on them. Um, I don't really do much modern myself, but I mean, maybe, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's like a little, I don't know where it was cut. It just looks a little off. Maybe some lines where it got smashed or something, but I don't know, kind of unfortunate that they take off that much if that's all it is. Then we have a Mewtwo EX Mint 9, really cool card. Another full art. Again, I mean, probably just the corners, how they're cut. You can kind of see, see them at a good angle there if I put the light on it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Next up, we have a Blastoise EX. Um, this is Mega Blastoise. And PSA 7, near mint. So, I mean, maybe this one has the same problem. I mean, I'd really have to look at the fronts because, you know, there's so much going on. But, I don't know, it's got to be, it's got to be the back corners. I mean, look at that. It's like how it was cut, but, I mean, it's like the, uh, I don't know, the blades were not, were not sharp at all or something and just kind of took part of the card with it. So, maybe that's a common problem. 
Next up, we have a Mint 9 Mega Charizard EX. Really solid card here. This one does not have the corners like the other ones. So maybe that's, you know, really all that's limiting those cards. Uh, pretty solid there. But we have another one, and bam, it is a Gym Mint 10. So perfect Mega Charizard EX. Really hard to find this card in a 10. And, uh, you know, grading is subjective. I mean, look at that. It's got one of the corners there and even a white nick as well as a white nick on the bottom. So how some of those got knocked down to a 6 or 7 and this one got the 10, you know, really hard to say. I mean, this one, this one that was graded a 9 almost looks better, but it's kind of shifted up a little bit. But, yeah, I don't know. Next up, we have Mega Venusaur, another Gym Mint 10. Really solid card here. Checking the back for those corners again. You know, it's got, it's got a little bit, but I don't know. Not as much as some of the other ones. Mega Pidgeot EX, I imagine this has the corner thing. But the front looks pretty solid. Trying to see if it has the back stuff. I mean, yeah, maybe back on this corner. Look at right there. Yeah, it's like a little a little indent or something right there that, you know, probably dropped it down. It's kind of weird that it drops it down that far, but that's just the nature of PSA. Good thing we got another one that got a mint nine. So a little better condition there. Next up, Pidgeot EX got a mint nine. Then we have a Mewtwo EX. This is a bigger one, and it is a Gym Mint 10. So really cool card to have the Gym Mint 10 on. And the back on this one looks pretty clean. Um, still got those weird angles. And up here at the top corner, it's got maybe a little bit of that. But, I mean, I guess it's just so subjective. I mean, some of these have it, some of them don't. Some of them have it, and they're 10s. And some of them barely have anything, and they're 6s. So it's really hard to tell. And we have a Mega Blastoise EX, which is a Mint 9. Then another Gym Mint 10 of Blastoise EX. Just a normal EX card. Nice looking card there. Then we have the big dog. We have Mega Charizard EX. We actually have three of them. So we have a Mint 9 to start off the first one. Then we have a Near Mint Mint 8. But then we have a Gym Mint 10. So went 10, 8, and 9 in sequential order there. So let's take a look at these real quick and see. You know, this one should be flawless. But as you can see right there, it's got the corner thing, which is arguably maybe more so than some of the other ones that we've seen. Uh, mint, let's look at the Mint 9 next. So Mint 9, we got, you know, a little less. I mean, this one honestly looks a little better if I'm, you know, kind of being honest here. And then Near Mint to Mint 8. This one should be a little worse. I mean, honestly, the corners on the 8 look even better than the 9 and 10. So maybe it's something that I'm missing, but it almost looks like this should be the 10 and then the 10 should be the eight. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm uh, just looking at it weird, but not gonna spend too much time looking at it because it is such, you know, kind of a coin flip sometimes. But uh, moving on, we got the last stack. This is the third stack here. Um, these are kind of some lesser cards. So we have the Secret Rare from Evolutions, Mint 9. Of here comes Team Rocket. A Imakuni's Dodudo, Jim Mint 10. We have a Surfing Pikachu, a Mint 9. A Flying Pikachu, Jim Mint 10. Really love that they brought those back in those sets. Flying Pikachu, Mint 8. Then we have a Executor from Evolutions. This one got a 7, so oh, I think I see why. There's a little indention up there, which 
I, I mean, surely we would have caught that when we sent it off, but I don't know, unfortunate there. Have to take a look at the video for that. And we have a Chansey Mint 9. This is a hollow from Evolutions. Really clean card. I mean, it's a little off-center. That's honestly probably what got the Dean. Because, I mean, it's kind of noticeable. But otherwise, really cool-looking hollow. Then we have a Hitmochan from Evolutions Mint 9. Really solid hollow there as well. Then we have the Reverse Hollow Mew from Evolutions Mint 9. Then the Hollow Mew Mint 9. Evolutions once again. This one looks really clean on the front. The Hollow on these cards look really cool. Then we have a Zapdos Hollow Mint 9. A little easier card to grade with the dark background. A Gyarados Hollow Mint 9. So a lot of these Evolution Hollows are getting Mint 9, so that's not too bad. And we have a Ninetales Hollow Mint 9. Love the look of Nine Tails. This was like one of my first cards back in the day with base set. I had a Nine Tails Hollow that I pulled myself. I think I have a picture of it somewhere. But then we got the little bigger cards. We have Charizard EX, Evolutions, Gym Mint 10. And here we go. Here's some bigger guys. We have a Reverse Foil Mint 9 Charizard from Evolutions. The base set reprint, we do have some print lines down there on the hollow. Really hard to see, but overall, really nice condition. These cards are so hard to grade because you have like the, the corners and all that and then the centering on top of everything else. But really cool to have a Mint 9. Then we have a Charizard Evolutions Hollow Mint 9. Really solid card there. Might actually pick this up. I mean, can't go wrong with the base set Charizard, and I love these. So, yeah, just really solid. Always picking those up at good prices. And we have a Charmander Reverse Foil, which is a Mint 9. It's got to be the corners on these, because, I mean, we looked at these, and they looked really good, but a lot of them have those corners that are just kind of, uh, you know, clipped weird. All right, then next up we have some Japanese hollows. We have Typhlosion Hollow, which got a four. Now we're gonna have to take a look at this one. The front of the card looks pretty good. I mean, not really seeing much on this one to why I got a four. Oh, I might see something. All right, so yeah, maybe on the back it's got, yeah, I think that's it. So on the back, I don't know if you can see right there, it's got a little crease where it, it's like this whole corner was bent up a little bit. It comes in like right here too, so like right there, and then kind of goes off the card on this side, so I'm sure that's why. Um, maybe pulling it out of a binder, but uh, yeah, figure we would have saw that too, but we're making up for it a little bit with the Fralligator Mint 9. Really solid card. So nothing to see there aside from a nice card. And then we have, wrapping it up, we have Meganium. This is the premium file, which is what all these are from. Um, yeah, it's another four. So let's take a look and see if we have kind of the same thing. Um... You know, we, we kind of do, I think. Yeah, maybe right up there. You can kind of see it there, but... I mean, it's it's very faint. It's not as bad as the Typhlosion, but... Yeah, really unfortunate there, guys. But overall, pretty solid grades. I mean, it's good to have them all back. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Maybe I'll show some off, kind of showing the condition and kind of differences in condition. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.